What's up, guys, and welcome back to our Road to Nebula series here in BO6 Zombies. And in our last video, our top comment was from G27, saying that they want us to get the DM10 done on Terminus, but we have to set our FOV to 60 and play with low sensitivity. So that's what we're we'll doing today. So as per the request, here is our FOV down at 60, but if I start feeling like motion sick or something, I might bump it up a bit. And as for our sensitivity, I'm playing on controller today so I can lower my sensitivity down to a three. And this is the build we're gonna be using for the DM10. And if you wanna suggest what weapon you wanna see us use next, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll have a comment down there as well with every weapon that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first. That way you don't get any repeats. Oh, this is disgusting. What? Do people actually play on 60 FOV and they don't just do this for, for the joke? Because this is gross. This is way too zoomed in. Oh, and Peck, shut up. You got you got away with a little too much last time. Ain't no way I'm being nice to you ever again. Not happening. But holy zoomed in. I might as well just press my face against the monitor. I can't see anything. Well, I, I can see everything, but nothing at the same time. I'm playing with glaucoma on. And the sensitivity isn't bad so far but i'm sure once we get to a higher round it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to train and move around and get stuff done but at least we'll get to use dead shot a little bit i i figured that would help us out with the camo grind and i can actually take advantage of that nice auto aim that controller gets it's actually working pretty good so far i don't think we've missed a crit you mercs need to get out of here scram oh I did scram. Maxis just took them. But I have used the DM10 a little bit. I've been trying to get crits on all my weapons. That way I'm not sitting here and trying to knock out 2,000 crits in the same game because it just takes forever. And I found out that the DM10 actually has a pack-a-punch ability. Uh, if you guys remember from Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, if you played that at all, there was a few weapons that had the same ability that this weapon has, and that's a binary trigger. And basically what that means is every time you shoot the gun after it's pack-a-punch, it'll shoot a, or release a bullet for every time you pull and release the trigger, which is pretty cool. It basically gives this weapon double tap, but just not in the way that the perk is designed. But speaking of double tap, we're actually getting a new perk in Season 1 Reloaded, as well as a new map, a new field upgrade, a new ammo mod, and gobble gums. On top of like a bunch of new weapons, like a power drill, which I'm really excited to use that and try that in zombies and see if it's got any cool pack-a-punch ability. But for our new perk, they haven't told us what any of the new stuff is gonna be. Uh, a lot of people are speculating that it's gonna be meal kick, me included. In. I think that would be really nice and very useful for right now, especially if we can get some Cold War type augments with it, where we can get extra ammo drops. But I've seen a lot of people asking for double tap. And, you know, normally I would say that we don't need it because we have the rarity upgrade system. You know, we can go all the way up to pack a punch three now. And there's so many different ways to make your weapon more powerful. But in this game, it feels like a lot of weapons really fall off like at round 30, unless you're using something like the Mustang and Sally's or the LR762 where when you pack a punch it, those things just become explosive. And since multiplayer and zombies share the same weapon pool, like if a weapon gets nerfed in multiplayer, it's going to get nerfed in zombies as well. So I think double tap would actually be a great way to kind of deal with that whole situation. But I've also seen people say that we might be getting vulture aid, which is kind of weird, honestly. Now, don't get me wrong. I like vulture aid, but I can't see how it would work in this game. Uh, it would definitely would help out with the whole lack of ammo issue or the just the issue in general of like zombies not dropping any ammo and it only being elites that drop it. But I can kind of see it working similar to how death perception works in Cold War where it'll give you like those augments where uh, you can get more ammo drop, obviously more salvage drop. And then maybe it'll drop those little like fart bubbles that you can stand in. That'll just make you like immune to the zombies or invisible to them. Like uh, basically like a, a zombie blood or like a mini aether shroud. Actually, you know what? The more and more I talk about it, the more and more viable I think it would be. So you know what? If they're going to throw in Voltre, go for it. I'd be so down. And then as for our field upgrade, I would love to have Ring of Fire back but I feel like they really want to move away from Ring of Fire. It was just so busted in Cold War. It felt like that was the only field upgrade anybody used in that game. And it's for good reason, because there was no field upgrade that really matched up to Ring of Fire. And we kind of got some of Ring of Fire, like bits and pieces of it through augments. Like when I use uh, Frenzy Guard, you know, we can shoot from our stock. There's uh, like a damage boost when you use healing aura if you get that augment. But I would love to see Ring of Fire back. The the words on the street and what I've seen from like some leakers is that it might be Frost Blast, which is a little disappointing. I never really liked Frost Blast all that much. I never really used it. I always thought like Tesla Storm would be better and it worked better or like Frenzied Guard or even just using Aether Shroud. I don't think uh, like Frost Blast was... Uh, 
one of the more useful field upgrades. But you know, with this whole augment system, maybe it could work. And I guess I'd be down to try it out. But then they also said there's going to be a, a new ammo mod. And the only one we're really missing in this game would be Shatter Blast. And I kind of feel like that the Shadow Rift kind of took that over. Same with like Deadwire, where they kind of work similar to each other. Where to be almost redundant to have Shatter Blast. But I would be so down to have it back. That was the best ammo mod in Cold War. But if they do bring it back, I'm sure it's not going to be as powerful as it was in that game. But let's get Pack-A-Punch. I still feel like I'm playing with a magnifying glass right up against my, my monitor. This is ridiculous, dude. Let's uh, throw a nice little C4. Let's light that up. Can I can I do it? Hello? Oh, nice. We're lagging hard in solo. This is cool. All right, I think we're good. Give me the rebreather, please. Please. Thank you. Oh, my Atlanta. How do, you, how do people play like this? I can't even maneuver. Oh, let's go. A nice little Aether Crystal out the chest. That's what we like to see. Is there any other chests over here? We got any more loot hiding out in these waters? Nope. We got a giant phallic creature. Let's get out of here. I ain't trying to stay in the water with that. Hell no. Get me out. Get me out now, actually. Now, please. Please get me out of the water. God. Stressful. This is ridiculous, dude. It feels like I'm playing within a, a game trailer for this. Like we are stuck inside of a teaser for Black Ops 6 Zombies. It, it's all moving around like a IGN video. But I feel like I kind of glossed over it when I was talking about all the new stuff. But we are getting a new map. You know, they already basically revealed this or uh, guaranteed it back in COD Next when they said that we'll be getting another map before the year ends. And that map is going to be Citadel of the Dead. It looks like a, a nice little castle, and I think it takes place in France. We haven't seen a whole lot of images of it yet, only like two of, like, kind of the overview, like the overlook of the map, kind of like the, the loading icon that you'd see on the main menu. But it seems like a cool setting. We're going to be following, like, Weaver, Maya, Carver, and Dr. Gray as they head into there. I don't know if Strauss and Peck will be joining, because uh, they just seem to always just behind or be behind some sort of like protective glass every time they go anywhere. Oh, and Purple Tiger, let's go. We already had our 2,000 crits. Beautiful. But they're still in search of Rick Toffin and, you know, whatever else they're doing. Probably, but maybe even getting the Sentinel artifact. So we're, we're going to figure out what the hell's going on over in France. Okay, this is a very unintended consequence of this challenge. I'm having such a hard time steering the boat with this low sensitivity. Oh, wait, maybe I just need to look. Okay, this is just me having an issue playing on controller for the first time in this game. Let's see if we got any good loot over here. These things are either really good to me or really bad. What we got? Oh, rare aether tool. Perfect. And napalm burst. Eh, let's grab it. And that rare aether tool is coming in clutch because for one of our special challenges, we need to get kills with rare or higher rarity on our weapon and the other one we just need to get like crits rapidly and then just kills rapidly so we are in pretty good shape to get this done pretty quickly and actually i think people were telling me i can actually skip these bug rounds if we save and quit and come back in i want to see if that works let's try not to pull a milo here and just end our game let's see if this works can we skip that vermin round okay it's putting us back on biolab a little further back than where we were at. Round seven. I ain't seeing no bugs, but it did reset our weapon rarity. So maybe let's go back to that chest and see if we get the same loot. That's actually a good test too. We can soft reset these, these little loot boxes and we can hunt them like a, a shiny Pokemon and just constantly reset our game until we get what we want out of these boxes. That's kind of a sick strat. Is it still over here? Yep, we still have a loot box. Rare Aether tool from it. Nope, that's a boat. Give me off the boat. What's in this? Oh no, we got scammed. I should have waited to save and quit. We did not get our rare aether tool. And there's no other chest here. Usually there's one in front of the boat, one over here, and then one near the, the ladder, but we got scammed. They took away our aether tool. I guess that's what I get for skipping rounds. Okay, now the far cloud's beating our ass. I get it. I'm leaving. Also, while we're grinding out these camos, I feel like I should address the allegations. And no, not those kind of allegations. Don't even try me. I know some of you out there got that Diddy clan tag. I'm looking at you, Trevor. But the allegations I've been getting is a lot of people have been thinking I'm, I'm doing these videos high. My eyes have been very red. And this is going to sound like some sort of, uh, you know, no, mom, I don't smoke type excuse. But... Over here where I live at, the temperature has been going up and down like crazy. Like it'll go from like, I don't know, kind of like freezing to a little below freezing. 
and then all the way up to like 60 to 70 for like in two day like in increments and i'm uh i'm an indoor cat so all the pollen outside that just all of a sudden comes back my my nose my eyes don't like that and then on top of that you know with a, a brand new launch a call of duty i've been uh not getting the most routine amount of sleep i've been uh you know switching through changing up my sleep schedule quite a bit you know staying up trying to get videos done for you guys because you guys have been showing me an insane amount of support so i gotta you know kind of reciprocate that and uh try to put out as much content for you guys that i can but also just want to show my appreciation Thank you guys for all the support you've been given since the game's launch. We're already at 210,000 subs, which is insane. And I think consistently since this game has launched, we've been getting at least a thousand likes on each zombies video. So I really do appreciate you guys. But reason number two that my eyes have been getting red is because when I'm not doing a whole lot of sleeping, I am uh, sitting there rubbing my eyes like a little baby, like, like an infant child. And that's probably not helping with the redness. But if I was smoking before I was starting these videos, you guys would definitely be able to tell. It would be just like the, the flight reacts thing where it's, it's him watching a video one second and then it cuts and then he's just sitting there stoned out of his mind. Like if you guys think I, I can't read now, it'd be even worse if I was over here token up for a video. But also let me show you guys that pack-a-punch ability I was talking about earlier. Like I'm going to pull the trigger once, I'm going to shoot two bullets. Kind of sick. Not very sick though if you're playing on uh, Liberty Falls trying to go for that dead shot Easter egg because it'll count that second shot as a missed shot. And you're going to need to pick up a different weapon if you want to end up getting that done. I think we're all done on this island. Ain't no more loot for us to grab. And we got a good amount of money. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Deadshot. Still haven't been able to use that yet. So give me Deadshot. Thank you. Armor level two. Give me. And sorry about it, zombies. Oh, that's so satisfying. I haven't seen controller Deadshot or actually used it in so long. Not since our, our third Dark Aether grind. That's so satisfying. Oh, it makes crits so easy. Maybe I should play on controller more often. And I forgot I had uh, the perk gobble gum on the house. How do I just use that individually? Oh, here we go. Give me that. What are we giving for it? Speed call? All right. And did we skip another vermin round? Let's see if it works. See you, bugs. Did it work again? Oh, we... Oh, no. We lost our perk and our gobble gum. Okay. That's lame. Lame as hell. So we, we do get to skip the vermin round or whatever. But we also skipped us taking our gobble gum. That sucks. And I'm sure it still used it up too. But we got another on the house. I'll be taking that. And I need to turn off this Aether Shroud augment where it brings out my melee weapon. If I'm not specifically using a melee weapon. It's not that useful right now. I can't aim lower. Holy shit. My sensitivity was pulling my weapon up on top of it trying to just lock to whatever zombie was further away instead of right next to me trying to get me killed is there any mollies on the ground Ooh, mutant injector i'll take that but if there's no mollies i'm gonna have to craft one i want to try to do that like treasure hunt easter egg this is terrible turn i wonder if getting stamina up would help me turn faster somehow oh but we just need to do a bit more damage and maybe we can keep some space between us and the zombies made me gassy. And you know what? Since I'm not messing with Aether Shroud right now, let's go back to the, the tried and true with Frenzied. Mm, you know what? No, we'll go Healing Aura. Because it's it's not going to be the most useful, but I kind of want to see what the damage boost does. I haven't used it yet. But I do have that damage boost augment on it right now. So we'll see how that goes. And while we have double points active, if I can do this fast enough, we can shoot the basketball over here. Apparently all you needed was a Pack-A-Punch gun to do it. Come on. Oh, I'm ass. I can't shoot for shit. I'm shooting like Shaq over here. Come on. There we go. Did I make it in? Yeah, let's go, baby. Give me all that. Yes, sir. Easy points. That just gave us a fat discount on our next perk. And we should go grab Speed Cola. Everything feels so much slower in this FOV. Like, I know I don't got stamina up or nothing right now. But the normal sprint speed feels like I'm walking in mud. This is terrible. Why don't you guys give me a challenge like, oh... Play the game and have fun. Use whatever weapon you want. And then also, here's $100 and the key to my home. Oh, there's a camo. I love how the game just knows when I start bitching to just start showing me camos. It's like it's jingling keys in front of me. Uh-oh. I can't even see what's on the ground over here. 
That's blocking me. We need no crawlers. None. What we need is a speed cola. And now we can go ahead and use our on the house. What are we going to get from this? Melee macchiato, maybe? Oh, no. Stamina. That's probably better for us because I'm going to go buy melee macchiato. Where is it? Over there. And we can go ahead and get started on this little pirate skeleton Easter egg. Maybe it'll give us some good stuff for it. Now, is it in the speed cola tunnel? Is that where he's hiding out at? Oh, yeah. It's right here. Damn. What's going on, dude? Hey, Captain Quarters. Hey, Saint. Uh, let's use our healing aura. Are we doing anything in this? Is it doing any damage? I can't even see where I am or what I'm doing. This is a mistake. Oh, wait a second. Or was it? I just insta revived myself. I probably could have just not even gone down if I had um frenzied, but that's kind of sick that you can revive yourself with healing aura if it just stays in that area. Not bad, actually. Definitely way more useful when playing with people, but I'm glad it actually can do something like serious here in solo. I didn't really see anything with that damage boost. I think our gun's already a little like powerful for this stage of the game. I already forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, we gotta go find uh, the pirate's booty. You go get him a, a BBL. This boat has like such a baby horn. Listen to this. <laughs> what am I even gonna be honking at with this? Now there should be a watch somewhere over here, right? Yep, that's gotta be it. Gimme. Nice little Audemar Paget buried deep in the ocean. Do I have to bring him the watch before I start doing these uh, little skeleton trials? Let's see. Let's see if this does anything. Nope. I think I need to bring the watch first. Damn it. All right, Mr. Pirate Captain. Here's your watch. Little does he know that I swapped that out for a fake. Hit him with the good old Saul Goodman method. The, the little slipping Jimmy. Oh, and this amalgamation is going to be tough to take down. This is dumb. Run armor. I don't know where I am. Jump into the water. This sucks so bad. Or maybe this can be a PSA for anyone out there that hasn't checked their FOV settings. Please turn that up to 120. You are doing yourself a disservice trying to play like this. And the sensitivity ain't helping either. I, I cannot turn for shit. I just have to keep everything in front of me. And now let's see if this works. Eat a molly. You'll be deader than I am. Erm, deader ain't a word. Honey, dia. Ain't a word. Did even spawn our dude in? Oh, it did. What's going on, pal? And apparently, from what you guys were telling me after we finished the snipers, is that HVT elites, these guys don't count as special kills. No. These are just elites. So if we were going for Opal right now on this marksman rifle, getting this kill wouldn't even count. Which is so lame. Okay, let's throw a smoke. I can't even throw it at my feet because I can't look down fast enough. But give me the coin. And we gotta go return this. Holy zombie. God damn. They're spawning everything just out of this one zombie spawn. You guys are getting a nuke. I ain't dealing with that. Here's your coin, buddy. He's kind of got that thing on, though. Now we just got to do that two more times, and then we go back to the island, and we can do the little medallion trial type beat. Our next skeleton should be over here on Cream Island. Where's dude sleeping at? Oh, it's right here. There you go. You should have let me rest in pieces. You should have let me rest in pieces. A dumbass zombie ran right into the fire. Genius. And I'll be seeing you around, Mangler. Thanks for stopping by, dude. You did your best, but it wasn't enough. Not even close. Okay, maybe I got to stop talking shit. He's going to be my ass. But now you're dead. There we go. Give me that coin. That gold doubloon. Let's throw another smoke grenade down. Stand in it and try to light these guys up. Okay, why can they still see me through this? Awesome. Cool. Oh, we got our camo though. There's 200 eliminations of rare or higher. We just need to get our crits rapidly and then kills rapidly after that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm getting in the water. We're swimming. Where is my boat? Where did I park that boat at? Oh, I think it's beached. We just need to get a new one. Vehicle. Th That's fucked up. And I'm getting leapfrogged again. Ooh. Actually, did we just get both of these done? No way. Oh, we had that done. Okay, so we just need gold. I'm throwing on this camo. This looks nice. And can you load it in so I can at least take a little peek at it in the gunsmith before we hop into the game? All right. Oh, see, I was just about to give up. That, that don't look bad at all. All right, let's give this another try. And even before you start speaking, Peck, just why don't you do us all a favor and shut up. All right, take your other eye out. You hair transplant looking, having ass motherfucking bruh. Better one, can you give me what I believe is called a sight threat? 
Raptor 1 does not fuck with Strauss. Dr. Moldy recovered the inversion warheads. What? My warheads? No. She can't have my warheads. Shut up, bitch. Stupid science bitch. Couldn't even make I more smarter. And I guess we don't need pack a punch right away. But we can get something to help us punch. I'll we'll grab this, and I'm still gonna go on that quest to get our stuff for this uh pirate. Let's take out the dude on the boat first. Burn my bones, will ya? What are you gonna do about it? I ain't gonna do nothing. I can prepare the Frenzy Guard this time. I ain't gonna use no dumbass healing aura. And you ain't making it very far. I do not like how Deadshot's kind of pulling my aim towards the middle of his chest, though. That's stupid. That's dumb as hell. But he's dead, so I guess it didn't matter. Give me the doubloon. Cursed coin. My new cryptocurrency. Tell my wife. I hated her hairdo. Tell my wife. I hated her hairdo. Bro is hating from the grave. I said, deliver me one last message. Your hair? Whack. Your fit? Whack. Everything about you? Whack. Here's your coin. Don't spend it all in one place. We got two more coins to get, and they're both island coins. I'm an island coin. I already know this mangler ain't standing a chance. Oh, wait, hold on. Gotta reload, and then we'll take you out. See you later, buddy. I'll be taking that Bitcoin. Here's another doubloon. We just need one more. These coins are cursed. Did I mention that? Those coins are cursed. Did I mention that? My nuts smell. Did I mention that? All right, last hunk of bones. Get that mangler in here. I just want to have a chat with him. Did that not work? Oh, there we go. Oh, is it a big mistake? Why don't you come show me how big of a mistake it was? Oh, amalgamation. Hold on. You need to get out of here. This ain't between me and you. Oh, no. Okay, all right, all right. It was a big mistake. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Okay. Frenzied. Holy shit, that was very, very close. Get out of here. Why don't you just die already? I think we got him. But holy shit, there's a lot of zombies here. Uh, we're gonna need to accelerate our arsenal. And you know what? Stock option could be fun right about now. Ooh, cleaned him. Oh, and there's mystic gold beautiful now that we got all of our camos complete this challenge is done we're gonna play with our full spectrum of sight 120 and uh i guess i'll turn my sensitivity up slightly we'll play on 11s oh so much better i can see i can fight actually it might be a little fast i'm a little baby when it comes to fast sensitivity we'll, we'll play on nines and here's your last coin what are you giving us for that Good to know there's still folks in uniform who can dream it a bastard without all the belly aching. Hey, you know how we do. Ooh, a goblin? Come on, dude. You're gonna hit us with a goblin after that? After all I did for you? Marine SP and the Jackal? Um, well, I guess I don't have progress on the goblin. So I'll take that. And what is this Pack-A-Punch name? DM them? This is your sign. Hit them up. But we're not done yet with this. We can go back to the one of the main islands. And if we stay on there for three rounds and actually survive, a medallion will spawn. And I'm pretty sure how it works is that we will get 30% more points for each kill or something close to a double points. But every time we take damage, we will lose points. So I will be going to that island momentarily. I'm going to do this trial real quick. Now our, our three round stay here on... Uh, fart shit island starts now and this is a cakewalk so far frenzy guard and then they're gonna give me a nice little full power to get another one right back it's smooth sailing oh and we got a camo also i just want to put it out there since we're using the goblin if you guys go ahead and recommend the goblin and you don't tell me to play on liberty balls it's just a huge missed opportunity i'll be very disappointed in you guys and i might just have to override the challenge and do it anyways oh and there's a chopper gunner here does that count as leaving the island if we go on the chopper gunner? The thunderstorm's already starting, though. So we're doing something right. Uh, let's just hope that don't despawn by the end of this round. I don't want to use it and risk it. There's also a dark ops challenge we can do once we end up getting this medallion over here. The the nice little cursed talisman. If we end up getting 20,000 points without getting hit once, I think we get a dark ops calling, calling card for that. Either that or I'm making it up. Oh, it's actually right here already. Open up. Give me the Cursed Talisman, and let's try the, the whole Chopper Gunner thing. Because we're not going to get hit while we're using the Chopper Gunner, right? And it could just help us get some points. So let's start it up. How much money were we at before we got into this? Oh, well, I guess we'll see the challenge pop up if we end up getting it. It's actually the perfect spot for using a Chopper Gunner. They got nowhere to hide. Some man was born. 
Born to wave the flag. Ooh, got red, white, and blue. It ain't me. It ain't me. I ain't no fortunate one. Oh, we're at 16,000 points. I don't know how much we just spent getting that tier three armor. I'm pretty sure we got a decent amount back from that. I wonder if uh, it counts damage if I'm in the mangler suit. Oh, either way, we're about to take damage. Damn it. Our points are going down. We're losing them fast. Let's try it. Fuck it. Ooh, in an insta kill. That's what I'm talking about. Am I losing any points getting hit right here? No. Okay. So let's just start building them up. Double points too. Beautiful. This actually might be the best way to get this done if this works. We're at 25,000. You just can't get hit right here. Can't get hit. We got hit. Damn it. Well, I think the mangler was working though. Maybe I should throw Aether Shroud back on. Maybe that'll make it easier. Actually, hold on. If we need 20,000 points without getting hit, we can just start doing stuff now that there's only one zombie left in the round but we can also just leave him we could go do that basketball easter egg really quick get a few extra points from that hit the basketball hit the basketball there we go clean give me all those points we should get a little bit extra from this right and if we can make our way over and craft something we might be able to get into a chopper gunner before we can get got there it is. Go down and use it. I wonder if this works. Come on. Give me all them points. I want to see that calling card show up. We've come this far. Watch this not even be like a challenge. This is just some shit I made up. This is all in my head. The imaginary dark ops. And then a cashmere. Please don't hit me. I'm staying back here to hide. Also going to throw a molly over there. Get a little extra damage. A little extra points. There's a nuke as well. Can I get to it without getting hit? Maybe. Oh, we did it! Yo, ho, ho! Uh, Terminus earned 20 essence. 20k essence. And then all the rest of the words that it said. I actually hit a hearty yo, ho, ho right there. Hell yeah. For once, I was right about something. I read something and actually retained the information. It's a miracle. And since we did get it, let's save and quit. And I'm gonna prestige. Can I prestige mid-game and come back in? Oh... Failed to say for unknown reason. You know why. Because you're hating this shit, game. Hating ass game. All right, what if we go in here? Now we can save and quit. Game failed to save. Does it just not want us to save and quit through bug rounds anymore? Did it figure us out? It knows our scheme now? That's lame. Is this what you want, game? You just want me to sit here and spam Deadshot on all these bugs instead of just quitting out? Hmm? This is what you're asking for. Now can I save and quit? Are you going to let me, game? Okay, all right. Whatever. Fine, I won't prestige. Let's go to the next exfil and waste all this XP. Well, time to exfil. I'm coming, Raptor 1. We can get out of here in just one minute. 45 zombies we gotta take down. Easy. We'll start out with our, our mine goblin. We'll pop a little frenzied. We got plenty of time to do this. A minute 46 is more than enough. Unless this motherfucker wants to grab me while we're using it. Oh, and Dying Wish went off? Really? Damn. I didn't think that would be a, a fatal hit right there. Especially with Frenzied activated. Oh, shit. All right. Mango time. Ah. Uh, what's up now? Once you have a seat. Can you please die? Please? Why are you so tanky? Why don't, why don't you just uh, sit down? There we go. Bugs get shot. Rest of you guys can also get shot. And we got one zombie left. Bye bye. Oh, wait, no. This is the last zombie. See you later, alligator. All right, Raptor 1. I'm ready to get out of here. And where is our calling card? Ooh, hot swap. That's a pretty sick one. That's not what we were looking for, though. Also, Mystic Gold. How's it going? Yo ho ho. That looks awesome. All right, this is what our DM10 looks like in game with Mystic Gold on it, and it's not too shabby. And overall, this weapon wasn't bad in zombies at all. Its pack a punch ability does help it out quite a bit. Uh, it basically getting double tap does help you get a good amount of damage, especially when going for headshots. And the camo challenges for it weren't too bad. And uh, we actually got a decent amount done today. Not only getting this done, 
but getting our dark ops challenge, I'd say uh, we had a pretty successful run. But I think that just about covers it for me today. A uh, quick reminder, we do have a new merch drop. So if you guys are interested, link down in the description below. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.